<laughs> That's when people ask me what size my bike is. I say, it's a Mark size. It's custom. <laughs> it's made to my measurements. This is not somebody else's bike that I, that I got on. This is my bike. It's got your name on it. Right. Of course. Everything's got my name on it. I don't ever think about 400 miles. Nowhere, ever. I didn't do it when I was planning it. I don't do it now. I don't do it when I get on the bike tomorrow. I never think about 400 miles. I think about the, the segments of it. The first segment tomorrow is 234 miles. And then the second leg is 99 miles. And that will get me then to the, um, the start of the Wheelman ride. I just really want to live through it. I, 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 that's always the goal, is to finish it alive. Um, it, I, and, and I think people think I'm joking when I say that. I'm really not. I mean, I don't, I, I don't want to die. So, I, I, so I, I would, I'll be happy to finish it in a vehicle that doesn't have red lights on the top. I run it as a, as a blinker, but it has all these other modes on it too. Here we're celebrating Mark and his start of his 400 mile ride for Earn a Bike. Earn a Bike is a nonprofit organization here in San Antonio. We focus on you know the communities that uh, have kiddos in predominantly populations with prediabetes, diabetes. Um, we come in, try to educate these students about healthy living, but more of a holistic approach. So it's not just about the importance of physical activity and using the bike as a tool for exercise, but it's about nutrition. You have curriculum about sustainability. You have opportunities for them to kind of build that community within each other. Um, so it's a really holistic approach to all around um, curriculum on mental well-being. Uh, trying to raise money for those kids, man. Just All you have to do is look at your video of those kids getting those bikes and look at the looks on their faces. And that's all you gotta do. The weather's perfect, the company is amazing, the energy is electric. Determination. He won't give up. I guarantee you, no matter what this takes, he will not give up. Determination, and he's got a huge heart. Obviously, the reason he's doing it is for these kids. So, between those two attributes, yeah, he's just a great guy. Oh, it's in the toes. He gets the best hugs. Hey, y'all be careful driving home. Watch the bugs! These tracks are terrible! Oh, 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 oh,
loves to persevere. He's got so much grit. He's doing this because he truly believes in the cause. And he's out there dealing with gravel roads, took a spill, and is looking forward to cleaning himself up at the showers today, right now, in the next 20, 15 minutes, hopefully. And then so he can get back up and do 300 more miles. Six, seven, eight miles an hour. So, but we made it. Well, that's my thought. <laughs> right, right. Kind of that, no choice. Oh, wow. What to say about the club? Um, just a whole bunch of folks that are together, just love cycling. They love Major Taylor and what he represented. Uh, the fact that he was a world champion and hardly anybody knew about him. And now he's become such a notable figure in cycling history. It's a great club to be a part of. Um, and I think we're drawing more and more people because of that, um, because no one knew who he was. People still don't know. So I have a fun time whenever I tell people about it, explaining who he was and just see their eyes like, what? 1899, 18 years old as a world champion? It's incredible. Um, Mark has been a, a great guy um, in my adventures of riding. I finally hit one year of riding and he's actually watched me grow as a cyclist and I would like to say thank you Mark for allowing me to be part of this epic ride that you're doing and happy belated birthday. Last night was wonderful. Much better than the, than than Thursday night. What was better about it? Well, first of all, we didn't have any gravel. Secondly, I didn't fall on my ass one time. Not once. Nope. always <laughs> Thirdly, we had a great group of people in that, which is not to say we didn't have a great group last night. But but it was a different the 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 the, diff, the, the, the kind of group was different. Yeah, we had we vibe. just we had a vibe tonight and we just rolled along and chatted and if we were doing 12 miles an hour or 14 miles an hour or 16 miles an hour that was just great with everybody. What mile are you at right now? 342.82. That's good yeah. stuff. Yeah. 
So I'm Tony Buford. I am a board member of the San Antonio Wilman Cycling Club in San Antonio. We've been around San Antonio for over 50 years, and what we do is we, we provide people an opportunity to do a scheduled ride every Saturday and Sunday just for mental health and fitness. So one of the things that our club enjoys doing is providing an opportunity to give back to the community. And so uh, a few years ago, we identified uh, Earn a Bike as a company that we would really like to work with. And the reason for that is that they're involved in cycling, we love cycling, and we know how important it is to get kids outside doing something for both mental health and physical health. And so we, th we thought it'd be a great opportunity to work with them to help provide funding for bikes. And we've been working with them for four years now. So what Mark is doing is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, Mark is bringing in a lot more volunteers, a lot more funding, and a lot more awareness of earn a bike and cycling in the San Antonio community. Uh, Mark is just a really big personality, and he's very good at pulling in people to be able to help a good cause. <laughs> oh, Lord, do it again. It looks like I was hurt. <laughs> Here's my question with JJ. I'm on my right bike. Now, listen, I have slept in 42 and an hour, so don't, please don't get me silly, because if you get me silly, then, she wrote, huh? then it starts to get weird. Okay. All right, one, two, three. <laughs> Influencer in the wild right there. <laughs> I was like, who the hell is riding this bike at 5 in the morning? And it was Mark, of course. It, it was it was Mark. Mark made it here a little earlier than uh, than normal. So uh, Mark, thanks for all you're doing to recognize Earn Bike and to, to donate uh, some funds to Earn Bike. Uh, Mark's going to finish with over 400 miles today. Is that right, Mark? Right. I won't promise right. over, but. <laughs> Hey. That's my dude right there. You got this. You got this. Finish up strong. At your pace. At your pace. Hey, why, why is he doing it? Man, earn a bike. You gotta do it for the kids. Somebody's gotta do it. When you get them young, they get them rolling. Turn up. Like that guy. What's up? What's up? Yeah. How are you? You should have signs. Uh, somebody should have provided me some. You should have signs that say, I am Mark Doblet's videographer. <laughs> It's video, so it's oh, not good. Oh, I didn't tell us that. <laughs> this is part two of my work, ride, work, ride, finishing up with Mark. Good job, Mark. Love you. All right, I just want to give everyone a quick update. When I left Mark, which was a bit ago, he was sitting at 360 plus miles. So he only needed another, you know, 30 plus miles to go. And he said that he thought he was going to go over the 400 mile limit. I'm parked over here at the finish line right now. So I'm kind of just hanging out, waiting for him to come through, following him on the live tracker. He's in his 
head to the, uh, I mean, there's a wall there. Mark's not here right now. That's a shell of Mark right here. Right now. And he gets out there and then his head just starts getting very well tanned And it's just, I love him to death, but you know, he's, he's dead a wall. We need, just, we need to accept that. We need to get it done. We don't get 69. Are you going to be okay with it? They have some plan that they have had. Apparently there is a that goes right like that. When we get to the place where the porta potty was this morning, oh, so we won't you need to tell me what the what your miles are. And either we're gonna go do the loop or we're making a left and we're going to New Berlin. Okay? <laughs> Start. <laughs> Suit up again. Uh, yes. Yeah. James. Yeah. Yes. Grab the bike. All right. Yeah, believe it or not, and I know it sounds like it may okay. sound rude, but it's not what I meant. Oh, come on, y'all. Yeah. You can't be out here representing us like this. <laughs> President! <laughs> Look, and you got a lot of logo. You can't be doing this. Our political career is over. Uh -uh. Look, I'm sending that to CNN. He, he's hurting and he's in his head, man. I know. We need eight miles out of him. Yeah, that's it. We're going to get it done. We're going to get it done. You got it, Jack? <laughs> no. Nope. Too short. I'm uh -huh. <laughs> And Mark is hurting. I am uh, trying to lead the guys right now, trying to block some of this headwind for them. You know, and we're we're going anywhere from like nine to 14, 15 miles an hour. The whole team came out to uh, to help him out. JJ jumped out of his truck, stripped down in the middle of the street, and jumped on his bike. And, um, it, you know, it's like Mike said, man, that, that's not Mark in there right now. That's a shell of him. He's just, he's spent, absolutely spent. I mean, what do you expect? He's been riding his bike since Thursday at, you know, 6.45 p.m. really. And uh, it is now Saturday at 12.40 p.m. You know, what do you expect? in your head that oh my god you can't get it. it's dark it's so ugly your legs talk to your ass talks to you your feet talk to you your everything's talking to you and telling you you can't do it all of a sudden here come to calvary over the hill mtcc to the rescue again that cheered him up and we got these last few miles in here <sighs> I'm gonna lose it. So, uh, lose it. <laughs> Damn. I'm gonna mess up with do this shit. He stuck with it. Told you earlier in the evening, dedicated 
perseverance. He wasn't gonna give up, and he didn't. Love that man. Look what he has done to his body for other people. He won't admit it. He, it's just something that he did. But uh, I can't even face him right now because this shit starts happening. But anyway, uh, the cavalry came over the hill just like they did last year. He got behind you. And we made it all the way in here. We had to go make a couple of loops, but he did four and a half. That man has been awake for, I, 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 I don't know, he said 48 at some hours ago, so he's got to be pushing a 50 plus hour mark, and he is still going. Look, I well, he's, he's over, over there somewhere. Well, yeah, he's, he's over there talking. Talking. He's sleep deprived, but he's here for the community. There you go. Awesome. Oh, the boy David. Hey! What the heck are you doing here? Mark, you're an inspiration to many, many people here in San Antonio, in the cycling community, uh, in Texas. You're, you are world renowned and uh, we appreciate everything you do for us. Thank you. Tell me one thing about Mark. One thing about Mark, he is uh, somebody that anyone can ride with. He will adapt his ride to make your ride successful. All right, so tell me one thing about Mark. Oh, he's faster than me, that's for sure. <laughs> Darn faster than me, so yeah, good rider. All right, yeah, tell me one thing about Mark. Caring. He has the biggest heart that I have ever met in a person, and he is so kind, and so he does this effort. He did it last year, and nothing just like Mark's way. He wanted to exceed his goal from last year, and so we're here again this year to help him do that. He does epic shit. He's everybody's cyclist. He is. He, is. he really is. Mark will ride bikes with anyone. There's not that many people who, once they get to a certain level of riding, that will be patient enough to ride with beginners day in and day out, and he doesn't care. He'll just... You know, he'll jump on. Yep. He's a teacher by trade, but he's also a teacher on the bike. And he will take anyone under his wing, <laughs> no matter what. Well, well, Mark is a people person. He's an avid cyclist. He has a testimony. And it was his testimony that brought tears to my eyes, being overweight and out of shape. And he decided to do something about it. And when he did, he put the passion and heart into it. And his heart and passion for cycling combined with his heart, passion, and love for people makes him an exemplary person and an exemplary cyclist. Oh, there we go. Over this way. There we go, right there. One, two, three. Yeah! Woo -hoo! Billy, what goes through your head when you're approached to do something like this event? It's all, for me, it's all logistics. Because I, I have to plan everything ahead of time. What gear am I going to use? Uh, making sure I remember all of my, my stuff. It's similar to riding a bike, actually. That's why I like doing it. I got to remember I got the cameras, got the batteries charged. I got to make sure I'm in the right spot at the right time, which I'm not always, but that's the thing with documentary filmmaking. And what I want to know is, what's your why? Because I've been watching you, you know, you're, you're staying up late, you're out on the road everywhere. I look, I see, see your truck, and I'm like, man, this guy's still out here. So what's your why? So I, number one, I love filmmaking, right? That's like my first passion. I like doing like cycling adventure stuff. Any kind of hikes, long endurance stuff is like, I love it. I love doing the films and documenting that. This is something that's worthy of documenting and it's supporting a good cause. I actually, like there's more, more to the story than, I always try to keep stuff back till the video comes out. So I actually had a buddy yesterday record a special song just for this video. And he spent six hours recording. He's a legit musician, it's his day off. And he spent literally six hours yesterday working on a song. But this is a good cause. This is really a good cause, so. You just said six hours recording music. How long does it take you to put this together besides just recording the event after? So filmmaking is always three steps. You gotta do pre-production. So I did that with Mark going over, you know, hey, here's the route. Make sure I got enough media, making sure I got like an idea in my head. Cause it's not just as simple as people think, oh, just show up and film this stuff. Like you still need a narrative. 
right? So I, I had to put that part together. Once I kind of had that, we're gonna spend what, three days? Is that right? <laughs> My days are running together. So three days actually filming, which is the funnest part of the whole process. And then probably another two or three days or maybe longer on the edit. So when Mark is done and he's, all the social media stuff is done, I'm still gonna be living with this for a while. And all of your viewers wanna know, when are we gonna see you on a road bike with us? I need to be on a road bike. I definitely needed to ride more this year. It was in the plans, but it did not happen. So I need to get back to it for sure. Cause I've got right, right now, I've got four bikes in my living room. I got the e-bike, the e I got two road bikes and a single speed and I'm, not, I'm hardly riding any of them, so. Well, when you're ready, come get us. All right, outstanding. And I just want to say, in closing, that um, we appreciate you. Yes. Um, your videos have been very impactful, man. I've watched them and I, and I teared up. You're putting pressure on me, man. You know, watching you <laughs> just tell the story. Film. That's well, the thing. You, that's sir. the that's the thing I like doing. That's uh, you ask about the why. It's like the I love the filmmaking, but filmmaking is just the medium, right? It's the storytelling that's important. And you know, most people in the world they're not going to go on Google and search Mark Noblet, you know, period. Especially not Mark Noblet riding 400 miles. But in the future, hopefully, you know, when people do, the broader people start discovering that stuff, they're going to be like, holy shit, this dude. He did 300 miles one year. He's, he, he did 400 the next year. We did the long endurance thing up in Pace Bend this year. So, I mean, and that's hats off to the guy, you know. And he's, he's not a spring chicken, <laughs> you know, and he's not gonna win the Tour de France this year, but he's still out here doing it, so. And that's the key. That's it. Cool. Thank you, sir.